Hey guys, Alexey from Ace5 Studios and today we're talking about tokens and how super handy they are in your everyday workflow because you no longer have to name files by hand, which is super time saving. So currently, if you have this scene here, we have an animation here and let's say I want to save this picture to the folder with the file. So I click this button, I find the folder with the file and I call this token guy one and I hit render and it comes up and it renders and you can see it there in the file, in the folder. Awesome. And then I want to change something. So I want to change this to be like this. Maybe look up and I hit render and it's like, ah, oh, it's already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? And you're like, cancel. So you go back here, you type, you go to save, you type zero two and then you hit render and you get it, which is not the most ideal thing. But what you can do with tokens as a start is, oops, I'm just gonna move this so you can see that the file name here is different. It's tokens demo. So here, for example, I can just write dollar sign PRJ. And now when I hit render, it will save a thing called with the same name as a C4D file in the folder with a C4D file. And then if I change something, like I move this guy here and I move his hand down and I press incremental save, It'll add a little zero one, and when I hit render, it will also add a little zero zero one. And now I have my next file, which is zero zero one. Very handy, but it can be a lot more useful in this. Let's say you don't want all your renders here. Let's delete these guys. Let's say you want your renders in a folder called renders. Well, that's easy. Just go here and type dot forward slash renders forward slash, and you have PRJ, and then you hit render. Whoops. Press enter and hit the render button and it renders. And now here you automatically have a little folder called renders and there's a file in it. Very neat. Now, what if you're working on something and you're doing some changes and you want to render a new one, but you don't really want to do an incremental save for a file every time. Well, that's where you get this thing called CV tokens from Cineversity. Check the link below. And that lets you also add all these handy little things that you can see here. It adds, for example, minutes, seconds. So I add minutes and then I add seconds. Oops, that was, which is just dollar sign SS. And now when you hit render, ah, when you hit render, it will add just a little in renders. It'll add, at the end, it'll add a little unique number with the minutes and seconds. And you can just keep hitting render and it'll keep adding them. Very handy. Now let's talk about something a bit more production oriented. Let's delete these minutes and seconds. Let's say I want to render this animation, which is spinning. Now, so I will, if I do it now, I will just have my project folder will just be full of frames. So if I hit render, wait, let's change this to output whole frames and let's hit render. Now you will see that while it's rendering this, now my folder here is just full of these renders. So that's not very convenient because if I make a new one, for example, I press incremental save and I hit render again, it'll all just, once it starts, it, it'll just keep filling up this folder with more of these. So not very useful. So let's delete all these. What you can do is in the save, you can actually put another forward slash and type PRJ again. And now when you hit render, in your renders folder, you will get a little folder with the name of your project and then inside will be this. And then if you hit incremental save and you hit render again, you will have a new folder called 003 and with a file name, how dandy. And you can append stuff to this. So for example, if you're rendering from a different camera, let's say we have camera and we did not put it in the right place. Let's make it a camera call main camera and side camera. You can add these things to your tokens as well. So here there is camera name somewhere. There you go, current camera. So you just underscore and current camera. And then when you hit render, you now have a, um, Forgot to add the side camera here too as well. 
because I just added to the because the last one is your file name and this one is your folder name. So now when we hit render, there you go. We have a side camera and we have a main camera. We hit render and it automatically makes a new folder with a new file name with a main camera. How convenient is that? Right? So this is what tokens are super useful for. Uh, they let you automatically rename things. And there's also there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You can, you know, with the CV tokens, there's a whole bunch of stuff like, you know, operating system. You can also add render engines. Um, uh, you know, just it's, you know, there's a resolution is very convenient. So you can, for example, I think it was a height or width somewhere, but yeah, there. So you can add a dot res. And then, you know, if you have a low res render or a high res render, and it's just in the file name or in the folder name or just in the folder name. You can add these wherever you want. So that's also frame range if you want to, you know, that in your folder name is just a whole bunch of very convenient little, you know, past names, whatever. Even a computer name, if you want to know where the renders are coming from, if you just want to include that in your folder. So basically, super convenient thing that you should use on all your projects because then you don't have to, and obviously you can append things manually here. You, can, you don't have to write this, you can just write project name underscore you know, wiggly goop, and it'll still add it to the end of the file name. So the token system is very powerful, and the CV tokens plugin extends it even extends it even further. And you should definitely be using this. Too many people are not using this. I want to say it was introduced like two versions ago, I think in R seventeen, and that by itself is you know amazing. So yeah, this was Alexei from Ace Five Studios. Make sure to check out my website, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, click the subscribe button and like, and you know, do all that usual stuff that people ask you to do because then more people see my channel and you know, I make more tutorials and everyone's happier. And check out all my products. I got some free rigs on my website and some paid rigs and lots more stuff. So yeah, have a good one.